Hey guys, I'm here at one of my uh, investment properties today, um, dealing with a little issue of uh, some cat odor in the basement. And I thought I'd shoot a video. I know it's a real common issue um, that homeowners have, and I get a lot of questions actually. So um, between, uh, between being a property investor as well as a real estate broker, I'm in a lot of homes that have pet odors. Um, and if anybody's ever had uh, you know, cat or, or dog pee odor in the floor, you know how difficult it is to get out, especially cat pee. Um, can be a real challenge. So over the years, I've, I've tried a lot of different things and I've come up with a solution that actually works pretty good. Um, so I thought I'd just kind of pass on this tip. So what I'm gonna show you is a product. Um, it's a product made by a company called, uh, called Mr. Max. And it is the Anti-Icky Poo by Mr. Max, which is kind of a a goofy name, but it actually works really well. So this is a this is an en an enzyme-based solution, um, and uh, basically it's made for made for any kind of pet odor. Um, pee is the main thing. Um, I've used this stuff in some pretty pretty nasty situations. I had a basement once, and I think they had dogs living living down there for an extended period of time without going outside, and there was. Um, there was piles of dog feces and it smelled like pee really bad. So I went through, um, I, I went through, I don't even know, probably a couple gallons of this stuff, maybe two, three gallons. Um, and it actually got the smell out of that basement. So it was, it was, I was pretty impressed after that. And I've had some, some pretty tough cat pee situations too, um, where it's w worked well. Basically, so this stuff, the way it works is, um, you can buy it by the gallon, which I do. And then you just put it in a basic, uh, a basic garden pump sprayer like this um, and apply it to the floor or the fabric or, you know, I suppose you could use it on furniture or something too in a, in a bad situation. They also, you can sell it, they also sell it in, I think, pint and quart bottles. Um, but I think the last I looked on Amazon, I think this is about 28 bucks a gallon. And for about half that price, you can get a quart. So, um, you know, I, I tend to put down a lot of it, so I think it makes sense to buy a gallon. This is the this is the uh, unscented variety. The original version actually has um, kind of a light uh, a light scent to it. It's not it's not bad. It's not overwhelming. And actually, I typically I actually like the original scent better myself. It gives just a little bit of you know kind of cover scent. What you'll find is this stuff takes a couple of days to actually work. And um, so so the application method is you put it down nice and heavy. Um, so you can see what I've got here is a, is a basement floor, um, pull the carpet up and what I'm going to do, the areas, it's kind of down the hallway and in one of the rooms is where there's a lot of cat odor. So what I'll end up doing is I will, I'll mix this up. You can mix, um, you can mix this stuff like probably 50, 50. I wouldn't go uh, much thinner than that. Um, just because it's, I like to put down, you know, good full strength. Um, I've used it if it's a small area, sometimes I'll just do actual full strength, but usually I mix it 50-50. But what I find is a lot of times it takes two treatments. Um, soak everything down good, be very liberal with it. Um, don't be skimpy, put it down nice and wet, and then you just let it dry. And that's kind of the key. Those enzymes need to kind of work over time and they break down, uh, they break down that urine smell. So put it on heavy. And I think you'll notice in a few days, uh, if you come back when it's dry or, you know, even in a day or so, um, you're probably not going to be 100% satisfied. But then if you hit it a second time good and heavy, I think you'll be real happy with the results. So um, where I've used this most is on in uh, concrete floors. Concrete's real porous and that smell gets in there and it's very difficult to get out. Um, I also had a client recently who had, a, uh, had some tile and they had, a, a, it was in a kitchen actually, and there was, there was cat smell in there and they thought that it had gotten into the grout. And I recommended this product um, for them there. I think that's another great place where, you know, put it on liberally on that grout, um, let it dry for a day, hit it again, and, and I think the results will be good. So I'll just kind of show you basically, um, I'm going to, I've got a little bit of water in here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this pretty close to full strength. It's, it's pretty cheap, it goes quite a ways. And like I said, I think, it's, uh, I think it works better when it's full strength. I don't think it does, I know it does. So 
So nothing too exciting here. Um, basically just, again, this is, you can buy these, uh, you can buy these garden sprayers anywhere, you know, any home improvement store for probably 20 bucks or less, 15 bucks. Let's pump it up and go ahead and put it down good and thick and don't, uh, don't be chintzy with it. The, the thicker you get it, the more the product is going to be able to soak in and, and work into the floor and the better results you'll have. So that's the application that I use on concrete. Um, I've used, I'll, I'll show you, uh, show you how you can use it on carpet as well. And the best way to identify where those stains are on the carpet. And I'll show you in just a second. Okay. So I've moved uh, to a different room now. I've actually moved upstairs a little bit different application. So we've got carpet here and this carpet is trash. It's going to come out and be replaced. But just to kind of give you an idea of what I do, if it's carpet that I can salvage or if it's carpet in your home that's in, you know, that you don't want to get rid of. The key um, that I found to uh, try and identify, you know, you might have an odor, but you're not exactly sure where it's at. And the key is to use a black light. Now there's different sorts of black lights, different types of black lights that you can get. Um, you might think of <clears throat> kind of the, like a fluorescent tube type black light but they've got products now um, that are actually in a flashlight form like this one and uh, you can see i'll turn the light off here in a minute but basically this is um, this is one that i got off of amazon it's called the esco light and i believe this thing was less than 15 dollars and uh, it's um, it's pretty amazing actually how this thing will pick up um, pretty much any kind of body fluid so vomit or urine um, blood or anything like that uh, that's on fabric or on any kind of surface really will, will show up with this light after it's dry. So um, what you can do basically is if it's best if the lights are, are kind of low and you can go around and just kind of sweep across the room and look for spots and when you when you hit a spot where there's dried urine it will glow bright yellow and I'm not a chemist but I think it's actually the phosphorus from what I understand in the urine that actually shows up and under black light, it'll, it'll just jump out at you. So I'm going to try to show you there's a, there's a, there's a couple spots on the carpet here. I have no idea if this is, um, you know, a pet stain or, you know, what actually was on this carpet. I hate to even know it's pretty gross in this, in this, uh, in this carpet, but it'll, it'll give you an idea. I'll see if I can get this on camera for you. I'm going to turn the lights off. And, uh, so you can kind of see how this glows under a black light. So there's the light off. And I'm going to turn the camera light off too. So now it's dark in here. You probably can't see much, but hopefully, yeah, I don't know if this is going to come through on camera very well. Um, but there's a spot right there. I'm going to try to get a little closer. This is hard to film, but there's a spot right there where you can see it's glowing yellow. And I think on camera, you can just barely make it out. I can tell you with my, with the naked eye, it, it stands out. Uh, it's very, it's very bold. It's very obvious. And so again, if you just, uh, if you just kind of sweep back and forth across the room like this, those spots, and you also see any little, any little piece of paper or fabric or all kinds of little things actually show up, um, show up with this black light. So uh, that just kind of gives you an idea. So that just kind of gives you a general idea. And I apologize that, that probably didn't come out very good on video, but trust me, um, using a black light is a way to do it. So I will, I got this off of Amazon. I will link, I'll put a link in the description below to this light, um, as well as the, the Mr. Max product that I use. Um, for the, you know, for getting the smells out. And so again, in this, in this application, what I would do again, use the same, use the same pump sprayer and wherever that stain is, I would just literally soak it and be, don't be afraid to put it on thick. The thing is, um, the thing is with these, with these pet smells is that smell is not on the carpet. Well, it is somewhat but the majority of the smell is actually down in the pad. And that's the tough part. If you've ever seen carpet pad, it's, it's basically like a rubber sponge. So, you know, when the dog or cat pees in there, 
most of it actually soaks right through the carpet and it gets into that pad and that's why it's so hard to get it out because that pad soaks it up eventually it dries and it's just it's just encapsulated inside that pad um, so when you soak it soak it in really good because you know the dog pee soaked in there so you need to have this product soak in there as well and when it gets into that pad it's going to take a few days for it to actually dry and i would say don't don't put a fan on it or anything. Don't try to encourage it to dry quickly. You want it to dry slowly so that the enzymes um, can work their magic and do their thing. And again, it'll probably take a couple treats, treatments uh, to get it out. So if worst case scenario, and I have had cases before where, um, where I've had, I, I had one house where there was a corner in a room and I'm not sure if the cat box was there and it just, you know, sprayed all around the box or if for some reason it just designated that corner as the pee corner, but it was, it was really bad. Um, and there was, it was soaked through the carpet, soaked through the pad, soaked into the subfloor. Um, what I ended up doing, I kind of learned a trick there uh, out of frustration. I couldn't get the smell out and I was actually painting and I actually took the paint sprayer and I just painted the floor. Uh, in that area and I put a really good thick coat of paint all all um, covering that whole corner and it worked like magic and I actually just sealed that sealed that smell in so if you get a really bad spot and you're gonna replace the carpet and you can't get it out of the subfloor um, you can you know I was using a paint sprayer because I was spraying the walls with just a brush or a roller or anything like that um, will work really well too and just put a good thick heavy coat of latex paint on it it'll seal it down into that subfloor and you know the smell will go away put your carpet back on or put your carpet back down and um, hopefully the issue goes away and you'll never know it was there so anyway hopefully you find that helpful uh, it's an issue that i know i run into all the time you know especially when i'm when i'm buying places to flip obviously they're they're kind of lived in hard and a lot of time a lot of people have pets and aren't real responsible with them but um, again as as a real estate broker i see a lot of homes too that um, you know it's a real turnoff when there's odors there so it's a way you know, if you're buying a place or actually if you have a place to sell um, and you know you've got some, some pet odors, you can, you know, for maybe $50 worth of product, you can go a long way um, toward, you know, towards salvaging that, that carpet and getting rid of the smell. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck. Thanks.